Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. It really means the world to me. If you're new here, please make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and join the family. It honestly means the world to me. And if you do enjoy this video and you're new here or you're not new here, please smash the big thumbs up. Thank you so much. For this video, I've decided to do my happiest moments of 2017 because 2017 has sadly came to an end, which it went so fast, but I'm so grateful for it because it was actually one of my best years. So I've decided to share some of my happiest moments with you. So I really hope you enjoy this video. So don't forget to smash a big thumbs up if you do. Thank you so much. I'm also sorry about the little bit of sunlight that's on my face is because it's the only spot I can get to film and I really want to film before school so I'm starting to go ahead with it and film now I'm really sorry if it annoys you but hopefully it's okay thank you so much for watching if you still are one of my happiest moments this year was getting back into my YouTube channel because near the end of last year I stopped YouTube for about a month because I don't know why I just didn't have the time and I just decided not to put it first right now I'm actually putting it first in front of a lot of things of course I still have other things in front like my life my family and my schooling but YouTube's actually really important to me right now and I'm making sure I film every single week at least two videos for you guys because I'm trying to upload a lot more frequently so I really hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, please make sure you keep supporting me by leaving a thumbs up and subscribing down below because it honestly means the world to me. Another thing that I've been loving this year is spending more time with my boyfriend Chris. I got with him last year in October so it was near the end of last year so it's really good that I've been able to spend the rest of this year with him. I spent a whole year with him. It's honestly amazing. We're now in one year and three months. It honestly means the world to me because I honestly love him so much and I really hope for many more years to come. This is one of my proudest and happiest moments of 2017, getting better grades in school. I had to move schools, as you already know from my last video, but moving schools actually really helped me because I'm in a better living environment, so it's helping me get better grades, and I'm honestly getting the grades I never thought I'd ever get. I'm getting like A's and B's and like 80% to 100%, and normally I'd be like way low and getting like 60%, and I thought that was good, and I thought that was the best I could do, and I always wanted to improve, but I always just thought, oh yeah, well, that's the best I could do, but clearly it wasn't, and I'm so proud that I'm finally realising what I'm actually worth and what I can actually do and what I'm capable of so it makes me so happy I've decided to finish year 10 so I'm actually really happy with the end result I've got because I've worked really hard for it and I ended up getting really good grades because I got really good grades in the classes throughout year 10 so I'm really proud of that just so you know you probably already know but the reason I finished year 10 is because I'm starting a course online to get my certificate 3 for early childhood and care because I wanted to get into child care and look after young kids because that's a dream of mine so I'm going ahead with that so wish me luck Another happy moment of mine is cherishing more time with my family. I started going down to see my family more because they live two hours away. I have siblings down there and my mum. I don't see my dad anymore, so it's just my mum and my siblings. Well, most of my siblings because three of them don't live with my mum, so I don't really see them. But one of them, we plan to see each other and we see each other now and then. Not as much as I want, but we still see each other. But the other two, I have nothing to do with and they're a lot older than me. They're just family issues, so it doesn't matter about that. But I started to see them more. The only thing is I can't see them anymore, but I'm still happy that I started seeing them more because stuff happened and I was banned from seeing them because it's what my mother likes to do. Just not going to say anything else. But yeah, I started to spend more time with family and I've also started to spend more time with the people I live with. Another thing I'm really happy of doing this year is saving a lot more for my future. I've become a way better saver. Last year I was a pretty good saver, but I would spend a little bit of money now and then. I know I spend a little bit of money now because of course I need to spoil myself. Because it's a waste of time if you're just going to save it all and not actually make yourself happy and go buy yourself some lunch or you and your boyfriend some lunch. Go out for the day with someone. It's just really silly to save all your money. Like, I know that saving is really good, but you need to learn to save what you need to and not all of your money. So I've started to save a lot more and I'm really proud of how it's going. Spending my 16th birthday at the beach was amazing and it was one of my favourite times with my boyfriend. My boyfriend actually planned it for me. He took me to the beach and he got me two toys. I'm actually going to show you in this video. He got me this little teddy. I love him so much. I named him Lavender because he smells like Lavender. It legit smells like Lavender and he's so cute. And this was the other one he got me. He's so cute and I love him so much. His name is Buttercup. I named him Buttercup. Don't ask me why. And he makes a noise. And I love him so much because um, I love monkeys and he looks like a monkey. So he's a cute one too. October this year was amazing because I got to spend my one year with my boyfriend. It was the best day ever because I knew that I spent one year, 12 months with this boy and he honestly means the world to me. Thank you so much Chris for sticking by me through everything. We've been through so much and I honestly cannot thank you enough for still being with me. I know how challenging I am but you still stick with me. Thank you so much. This year my boyfriend's grandparents invited me to go camping with them and I've never ever been camping in my life. So I decided to go camping with my boyfriend and his two grandparents. It was honestly amazing. I loved it. 
My body felt so much better after I came back because I hadn't been on technology for a while, hadn't been in a house. I've been sleeping in a tent and getting used to living outside in the nature and it was honestly amazing when we went swimming and we got some really pretty photos. I love them and I always cherish them and I always cherish the moments. So I went camping for the first time ever and it was honestly amazing I definitely want to do it again. I also went to fun fields with my boyfriend. We got taken there at the start of our relationship by his grandparents one time when I came down to visit because it was really hot and they decided to take us there. Fun Fields is like the Fun Adventure Park in Geelong if you've heard of it. It's just a really nice park, really fun with water slides and it's so fun but it's kind of expensive but it was honestly an amazing time. If you're still here, thank you so much for watching this video. It really means the world to me. Please make sure you do leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you do enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching this video.